How you doing, friend? Don't believe I know you, mister. My name's Richard Dees. I'm reporters. Wonder if I could talk to you for a minute. Ezra Hanna. Mr. Hanna. Fix things around here. Work the planes. What paper do you say you're from? Inside View. You know it? <laughs> oh, yeah. My wife, Martha, reads your paper. Uh-huh. After she's done with it, I use it to line our kitty's toilet box. Soaks up that cat piss real good. <laughs> <laughs> then you won't mind answering a few questions. You want to talk to me about the killing of my friend Claire Boy, don't you? Now, how did you know that? Tell you no other reason city folks visit these parts, except something bad happens, and this was real bad. But I got to tell you, I already told everything I know to the Falmouth police. I would see, I'm not the police. This will only take a few minutes, so if you don't mind. Well, I suppose that would be all right. We'll just speak loud and clearly, and you tell me what happened the night that Claire Boy was murdered. It all began the night before Claire was murdered. The night that bastard flew in here. Now, that plane was a black Cessna Skymaster, right? 337 with red piping, tail number 101 Bravo Lima. It was one of them Skymasters, all right. At least I think it was. I can't say as I remember the tail number, because I don't. Ain't that the damnedest thing? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. You just go on ahead now. Well, the night shift belonged to Claire. Quiet most time, but not that night. No, sir. Not that night. shift was over and I was loading up to head home. That's when he came down. Let me tell you, mister. Right from the get-go, that fella didn't seem proper. Just sort of off. Why was that? He was wearing a big cloak. He was. Red as a fire engine inside. Black as a woodchuck's asshole outside. And when it spread out behind him, it looked like a goddamn bat's wing, it did. Come to work about 7 that next morning, headed to chat with Claire before he went home, like I always did. Morning! Claire? But I gotta tell you, Claire seemed a bit odd that day. Not quite himself. Is this some sort of new service, Claire? Claire? Just doing my part is all. Saw you had a night fly last night. This him? Yeah. Dwight Renfield. Flew in from Derry. Nice fella. 
different. Said he was leaving tonight. Said he'd stop back to say goodbye. Looked like he came back all right. Can't imagine it being anyone else. Came back and ripped my friend's throat clean out from his neck. And left him dead as dirt in winter. Ugly way to die. So the plane was there the whole day? Yeah. Did Claire happen to mention calling a cab for the pilot to take her to the motel? It doesn't seem to be anything within easy walking distance. No. I don't remember Claire saying Ari a word about calling a fella a cab. What about a limo? Didn't say nothing about no limbo, neither. And he would have mentioned that. Check taxi limousine services. Seen one more thing, too. Might not mean nothing, but uh, then again, it might. Struck me peculiar. So give. Seen something strange under that plane. I did. Tell me. Big pile of dirt right under the luggage bay it was. Nasty stuff. Like where something had died. You're going after him, ain't you? You best be careful, Hoss. This fellow who killed old Claire, he ain't no man. Thanks for your input. <laughs>